Today is the day we get to bully Leafy. Leafy is here. Leafy is here. That Leafy is here. 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 No, I, I would love. People saying, "Oh, Leafy, come back!" I would love to see Leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today. Yeah, Leafy's maybe Leafy. Leafy is here. If you were around during YouTube's most chaotic period of 2016, then you probably remember a very prevalent YouTuber known as Leafy is here. Calvin Lee Vale, or Leafy is here, was a super popular comedy satire YouTuber that blew up for his, how should I put it, unique style of content. Never thought I'd be making this video, but here we are, right? But guys, as much as I love YouTube, and as much as I think that YouTube is one of the best websites on the entire internet, and as much as I overall appreciate YouTube, YouTube recently has been fucking up. One thing you've got to remember about the platform back in 2016 was that it wasn't as PC as it is today. There was a lot more bullying, cyber beef, and YouTubers going to war with each other, with Leafy being one of the most prevalent figures in this era. In only a few short years, Leafy rose to super stardom in the YouTube sphere, accumulating in 4 million subscribers at his peak. Leafy is here had all the greatest elements that made a legendary YouTuber back in 2016. Beef with every notable creator on the platform. What are those? I honestly think this is the cringiest man on the entire fucking internet. I'm fucking furious! Ridiculous and over-the-top editing, and probably the most savage Twitter account you've ever seen. The reason Leafy blew up wasn't because his content was the most well edited or well presented or even well spoken. And Keemster started tweeting out that he was gonna quit, and then five minutes later he said he wasn't gonna quit and he was actually gonna fucking expose me. And then he quit again, then started playing the victim card like a little bitch, then tried to come at me on Twitter, then he started- Honestly, it was kind of the exact opposite. Leafy ended up blowing up on the platform because he frequently beefed with other massive creators in the platform. He was frequently at war with other creators, like iDubs, H3H3, FoozyTube, and even Lacey Green. The list of controversies and the YouTubers that Leafy frequently had beef with is so long that if I named every single one, this video would be like four hours long. Leafy's very quick rise on the platform was a direct result of the videos he made on other creators. Last but not least, probably making some of the worst videos I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Just what the fuck at all? He frequently called out a lot of smaller channels with lunatics with content that generally wouldn't also survive in today's climate. I mean, if you're new here and you don't know who Devin is and you didn't see the last video about him, basically Devin, my man, sucks dick for five dollars it didn't necessarily matter how many subscribers you had because leafy would still call you out as long as you made content that he deemed funny enough to make a video about the first two big youtubers that leafy would fall into a massive feud with were anision and fuzzy too but as i was saying today we're going to be talking about the legend himself the one the only fuzzy tube Fousey so FooseyTube has always been known for doing a ton of scummy shit when it comes to YouTube itself. Absolute ridiculous nature of the content, combined with Leafy's unique editing style, gave a somewhat raw and authentic vibe to Leafy's content. And if there's a dude like unclogging his toilet and some shit gets on his face or in his mouth, well technically enough, he just broke the fucking law. Basically what I'm saying is when it comes to a blatant rule like that, there is no levels. Which led to one of the quickest rises we've seen from a YouTuber in recent time, and his beef with Onision and FoozyTube gave his channel a massive boost seeing as both of them had a lot of subscribers themselves. Leafy's content continued to get weirder and his audience continued to grow. Bad hairdressers who give you chunky highlights. Is it 2002? Do I look Italian to you? What the fuck are you doing? Bad hairdressers giving me too many highlights. Do I look Italian? Uh what does that even fucking mean? Is that like a joke? Like, I, I don't get it, dude. I really don't get it. Is that like a fucking hilarious stereotype joke? Like, oh, Italians get a lot of highlights. What do I, what do I look at? A fucking Italian to you? Ha ha ha. I think what people most resonated with Leafy was the fact that he was just so raw and authentic in his personality and presentation. Again, his videos weren't really the most well represented and they weren't exactly the best edited out there, but the unapologetic nature of the content and the unfiltered vibe is what really led to his success. And then combine that with the fact that he went on an absolute tirade against every single notable YouTuber at the time, it was basically a guarantee that other notable creators on the platform were going to take notice of Leafy's content. And that's exactly what happened. What we do here is go back, 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 
Leafy's tirade over the YouTube platform eventually caught the attention of another hilarious YouTuber, Ian Kane Joma, otherwise known as iDubbbz. iDubbbz was another commentary satire YouTuber who, just like Leafy, also had a pretty off-brand style of humor. Oh, it's, uh... It's big girl panties. You think I'm gonna wear this? I'm not a large. Uh, it looks like the contents are accurate. Hell yeah, anal beads. More like, ain't, ain't have anal sex with me's. Idubs would erupt in popularity after his popular franchises where he did bad unboxings and other funny styles of content, usually being parodies of actual content that people did on the platform. But Idubs' absolute biggest claim to fame would be a popular series that he would create that became beloved by many, and that was his Content Cop series. Basically, the gist of this series is he would dress up as a cop and play the internet police officer. He would basically make long form videos in which he would absolutely pick apart and annihilate garbage content on the YouTube platform. And as I'm sure you can probably see where this is going, he eventually made a video on Leafy is Here. This was one of the most hilarious rivalries in YouTube history and one that a lot of people remember pretty fondly. iDubbbz held absolutely nothing back and this is one of the first times that we'd really seen someone give it back to Leafy in the same way that he did to everyone else. I think my only stipulation with the bullying is that you also have to not be a p***y. You see, because if you're a p***y and you're hiding your putrid malformed chin behind your hand, your sleeve, or your microphone, you're, you're showing people that you are extremely self-conscious. You're showing people that you're a p and that takes a lot of the oomph out of your bullying. I'll get more into that later in the video. Right now, I'd like to address uh, what I like to call the anti-insult. Sure, a lot of people had made videos and responses to Leafy before, but no one had really gone all in like iDubbbz did, and the extent of the effort that he was able to go to set him apart from most other YouTubers. iDubbbz went after Leafy's physical appearance, his content, even his goddamn transitions in his videos, mocking just about every part of Leafy's style. I want to bring your attention to this picture. This is a picture of Leafy at uh, the little meetup. Thank f God that this gay trend caught on. Leafy's actually been coming out of his shell quite a bit recently. He's making more face cam videos. I, I love that too, by the way, calling them face cam videos. You know, for the, the rest of the planet who isn't afraid to show their face, we just call them videos. For a short time, I was very concerned about Leafy. I, I wasn't sure if he had no chin at all or if he just had a very weak chin because in some pictures he covered up entirely. Some pictures you could almost see something peeking out there. Idubs would oftentimes do skits in these content cop videos, and his one with Leafy was absolutely hilarious, because Idubs frequently talked about how Leafy had no chin. So for the skit that he did in the Leafy content cop video, he went out in public and played a variation of pin the tail on the donkey, but instead it was pin the chin on Leafy. It's gorgeous. We got it all set up here. I'm gonna get out of the bullhorn in a minute, and we're gonna see how we ha how many takers we have. I'm hoping the prizes will be incentive enough. Just like that, we got a taker. Oh, perfect! We got a winner. Hey, I don't. Can I play? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hey, you a Leafy fan? This video was basically the most that Leafy had ever been roasted back by anyone. And the lengths that iDubbbz was willing to go to really separated his channel from most other people. I don't have actual footage of Leafy's response, but it wasn't a very good one. Leafy was stuttering over his words and didn't really have a lot of comebacks for a lot of the criticisms that iDubbbz said. And after this point, Leafy found himself in controversy after controversy, and his channel would eventually meet its downfall. The truth.
Leafy's downfall and his subsequent banning off of the platform of YouTube was a direct result of all the videos he made against Twitch streamer Pokimane and YouTuber H3H3. But this string of controversies started in 2017 when Leafy would release a video mocking a man for cringy content that he wasn't aware had autism. The backlash from this video was so crazy that Leafy would end up doing the unthinkable and would make a public apology. And as many of you guys know, this is going to be an apology video for everything that has happened recently, and also me explaining basically what exactly happened because, I mean, shit, a lot of people don't even know exactly what happened yet. And after a two and a half year long hiatus, Leafy would return to YouTube and start beef once again. He attacked multiple YouTubers on his return, but the main focus was Pokimane. Pokimane is one of the largest female content creators on the platform of Twitch, having over 9 million followers, with many, including Leafy is here, believing that she only got to this point with her looks. A lot of people accuse her of having garbage content that isn't very entertaining, with the main criticism being that she gets by off of how attractive she is rather than the entertainment value of her content. I can't speak to this personally because I don't use Twitch and I haven't actually watched Pokimane before, but that didn't stop Leafy is here from going on an absolute tirade against the content creator. Pokimane is one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. She plays video games on stream, tries very hard to be funny, reacts to videos, and a lot of people respect her because, in their words, you know, she doesn't really show tits or... She's charming and interesting to watch in front of a camera. She's attractive, and to my knowledge, she's pretty good at the game she plays. Let's just get into it. 80% of Pokimane's streams is just her watching videos, adding actually nothing to what she's watching whatsoever. There's times where she's just straight up eating while watching YouTube while people donate to her, which, if people want to be that sad, fair enough. But it's a little bit funny when you take into account that even though she does this shit all day, at the same time, behind the scenes, she actively tries to censor the internet. And by the internet, I mean anything negative about her. People have made videos about her, and she's copyright strike them, the list goes on and on. If you make a video that is negative about her, she's gonna try to gun you. And I'm not the one saying that. That's her. No matter what your opinion of Leafy or any of the people he made content on, these videos were enough for Leafy to be banned off the platform permanently, marking the end of an era. <laughs> Smoke so much weed, she whippin' 